Hi guys, I um, wanted to pop in and give you a bit of a life update. Um, we just moved uh, this week to a new house in West Seattle, so that's why I've been a little bit MIA, but thought it'd be cool to share with you guys. Um, I don't want to do a full, hi love, I don't want to do a full home tour yet because we still have a lot of unpacking and arranging to do, but of course the first thing I unpacked was the kitchen and restocked, and so I thought it'd be fun to give you guys sort of an update on my pantry staples and fridge and what I keep in my kitchen in case you would find it helpful um, because I find if you have a well-stocked kitchen it really sets you up for healthy easy cooking um, which leads to just feeling healthier and happier in general so let's go to the kitchen now that Ellie's napping this is the kitchen and dining area very open and light, tall ceilings as you can see. And then here's kind of the living space. As you can see, we don't have anything on the walls yet, except for the TV, but we'll get some stuff going. Here's Ellie's little play area. And okay, first things first, here's what I made into our pantry. Okay, ta-da! I don't know how long it'll stay organized like this, but I will say if um, you're able to organize things like in your pantry and in your fridge, it just makes it easier to find things, easier to use things, um, simpler and more efficient when you're cooking, and things don't go to waste as easily. So. Um, I highly recommend it and it felt really good to just go through everything when we're moving and toss out what I don't use and just really keep the essentials, which may seem like a lot, but I do a lot of cooking, obviously, so we are well stocked. Um, so I will start at the top. So at the top, I've got all my different baking flours. I have to get up on a stool to get there, so I'm not gonna do that right now because that just seems like too much work. Um, but I use a lot of different nut flour mixes. I don't really do that well with grains um, and other flours. So um, almond flour, coconut flour, Bob's Red Mill Paleo uh, baking flour mix, Enjoy Life dark chocolate chips, all the good stuff for my baking recipes you guys see on my blog. Um, next, we've got oils and some vinegar. Um, this extra virgin olive oil from Thrive Market was what I was using, but then I got this Kipton, Kipton I'm probably saying it wrong, olive oil sent to me from Greece, and it is insane, it's so delicious. Um, I love it because a little goes a long way and you don't even need like fancy salad dressing. You can just drizzle that and some vinegar and salt and pepper over veggies and it tastes incredible. Um, coconut oil, I do a lot of cooking with coconut oil too just because um, it will stay stable at high temps. Um, so I use coconut oil and ghee a lot for high heat cooking and avocado oil. I've got some chosen foods, avocado oil. And then um, I don't cook the olive oil. I just drizzle it when I'm finished over foods or put it on salads um, because olive oil will denature at higher temperatures um, and it doesn't taste as good and it's not as good for you. So, um, oh, and I just got these goodies sent to me from Foraging Fox. I'm really excited to try them. Different um, ketchup made with veggies like beets and um, healthier ingredients. A lot of ketchup have added sugars. Um, so excited to try those, haven't yet. So this is probably my um, shelf I'm most excited about. This is our bulletproof coffee shelf. So it's literally all the things we use to put in our coffee in the morning, um, except for these protein bars, these chocolate chip cookie dough ones. Nick loves those and survives off those. Um, so we've got our coffee. We like the whole bean medium roast. Um, it has a nice flavor and I love bulletproof beans because they 
been tested for mold toxins. Um, a lot of people think they have sensitivity to coffee and caffeine, which some people do if you metabolize it slowly, but a lot of times it's because coffee beans in the United States can be contaminated with mold. And so you're, sorry, my camera shut off because my storage was full. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> so I had to delete a million things. So I don't know how long this is gonna be for, but um, we'll see how much longer I can go. Um, okay, so then we've got our MCT oil that stands for medium chain triglycerides. Um, basically, they are shorter, shorter chain fatty acids that your body can use more quickly for fuel instead of storing as fat. So we put some of that in our coffee. Um, we add a little bit of ghee. I like the vanilla bean grass-fed ghee by Fifth and Heart. And Nick just likes the regular um, ghee, which I also use a lot for cooking. And again, this is great for cooking at high temps. Um, you want to make sure to get grass-fed ghee because that ensures that you're getting all of the healthy fats um, from the cows. Otherwise, the cows might have been eating GMO foods or corn or soy, and then you're not getting that higher quality ghee. So I love this brand. Um, cinnamon, organic Ceylon, especially if you can look for Ceylon, it's great for blood sugar balancing. So a good option to add to coffee. Um, to help offset some of the spike with that caffeine um, and adds a sweeter taste without adding any added sugar. I'm doing maca in my coffee right now for hormone stabilization. And then I'm almost out, but I've got uh, Four Sigma Addicts Chaga Mushroom Elixir, which is really great for immunity. And it's an adaptogen, which means it helps your body naturally adapt to stressors. Um, and then we've got collagen peptides that we add in um, collagen is sort of the building block of your skin joints bone hair nails that's um, made up of a bunch of amino acids um, that your body uses for a variety of things also really good for your gut and healing and sealing your intestinal tract so i know that was a lot that's kind of our <laughs> coffee shelf and then we've got coffee filters um, moving on down here so this is kind of our smoothie what I made as our smoothie shelf. So I've got more collagen protein. Um, I've got this Enerfil prebiotic, this is prebiotic fiber that I've been putting in a lot of recipes and I love it. It's, um, I definitely notice a difference in my hunger levels. It helps me stay satiated longer and my digestion. So, um, then I've got bone broth protein powder. I've got cacao powder and nibs that I like to put in smoothies. Um, I've got goji berries, beetroot powder from my red velvet latte, black seed and chia seeds. I put those in smoothies. They add a lot of fiber and omega-3 fatty acids and dates are my favorite sweetener of choice um, because they're a whole food. Yes, yeah, they still have sugar, but they're still a whole food and they're delicious. Gotta live a little. Um, okay, I'm trying to go through this to fit this all in. So this is my like sort of adaptogen tea nut butter um, shelf. I've got a ton of different teas. I drink this kava tea pretty much every night. I swear it helps me go to sleep and just sort of relax and it's a nice nightly ritual. Um, but I've got a bunch of other teas in here and then adaptogens. Um, these I got from my Body Green Revitalize from this company called Super Feast. Um, they're really good. This is good for adrenal support, um, which is especially helpful for new moms. I'll get more into that later because I'm trying to cruise through here. So you guys know I love ground up my favorite nut butter ever. So I've got my little stash here and I'll use that in smoothies, chopped yogurt, bowls or oatmeal, um, and making desserts. It just adds a lot of great flavor, good healthy fats and protein. And then I've got my chocolate stash. I've got a ton of cute. I eat like a bar of chocolate every night. It's really bad, but well, I shouldn't say bad. Um, it's just my thing, what I'm doing right now. It's my vice, I should say. Um, but I'm at least eating good quality chocolate. I love the Hue Brown because it's just sweetened with coconut sugar. And we've got some Lily's dark organic chocolate. Nick really likes the Theo's. So we've got some of that. Um, and then moving down, this is kind of the condiments shelf. Um, so a ton of different staples I use regularly, maple syrup, I use in a lot of different desserts. Um, this is Ellie's cereal. She really likes this. Um, let's see, avocado oil, mayo. I've got just a ton of like balsamic sherry vinegars back there, gluten-free soy sauce. 
um, gluten-free Worcestershire, nutritional yeast, tomato sauce, um, black beans, ginger, tomato paste, garlic, um, just kind of things that I use in a ton of different sauces mostly and recipes, but I would say if you could, definitely um, try and have some of these on hand because they'll just add a lot of flavor quickly to dishes, um, especially like a good sweetener of choice, a good mayo or aioli or sauce that you like, um, and like a balsamic or sherry vinegar. Um, tomato paste adds a lot of flavor to everything. Anchovy paste does, and so does Chipotle. Um, and then our bottom shelf, we have just kind of like snacky stuff. So some nuts. Um, I've got like shredded coconut. Um, I have uh, bonza, chickpea pasta, and rice, um, which is really quick to cook. Uh, Simple Mills pizza dough. We make paleo pizzas once a week. We love them. Um, these Purely Elizabeth granola and these little cauliflower hot cereals. This is great on the go. I like to take this with me if I'm running around. I can just put some hot water in it from a coffee shop. Um, so we do this on like road. So I know I was kind of rushing through things at the end, but I think if anything, the key takeaway is to remember that really help set myself up and my clients up for more cooking, which leads to a lot of healthier choices um, and a healthier lifestyle as a whole, um, and saving money, and you can actually save time. So stay organized when possible. It's just easier to find things. You'll use them more um, and waste less, which is great for you and your money and the environment. Uh, read ingredient labels. So I know I had a lot of products in there. Um, I don't do everything from scratch. I really try and find clean stuff where I can. I make a couple sauces a week um, and then put in a lot of veggies and some quick proteins. And that's kind of the method to my meals. Um, but finding clean condiments, having sauces on hand, add a lot of flavor quickly to dishes. Um, and then you got to have your treats. So pick and choose wisely. Like I love our morning coffee routine. I love chocolate at night. So I find brands that I trust that make good quality products and I indulge um, because life's about balance and you can have your veggies and you can have your chocolate and feel really good about it too. Um, so let me know if you have questions, if you like this, want more of this, if it was way too long, um, what you want in, what you take out, and I can do more of these. Um, and I'll show you guys the rest of the house soon too. So thank you so much. Bye.